Hello, this is Small Biz David with a review of uh, the various discussions that we had at davidsbarter.com community this week. And looking at our community bulletin board, uh, the most recent we discussion uh, that we had was about Google Plus. And uh, in our discussion, I uh, shared how important Google Plus is becoming uh, to the various things that we are doing uh, within in our community. Uh, I do a lot of YouTubes, obviously. You've been watching this. Uh, I uh, create updates to our community by taking our YouTubes and embedding them uh, into our landing pages, our community landing pages, the various ones. I do as many as uh, five, uh, five a week. No, five, I'm sorry, five a day, uh, various lengths, various topics, uh, and uh, we we tie it. We tie all, and we we do things at Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter. Uh, we have communities that uh, communities within within those communities. Uh, at any rate, we tie all of the activity that we do in a day's time uh, at the end of the day, and we put it on our Google Plus page. The fact that Google uh, owns YouTube, uh, and obviously Google Plus. It's a great place to begin the day and a great place uh, to end the day. We talked about the uh, Facebook Family Fun Game. What's that all about? Quite simply, uh, if you uh, have a Facebook family uh, and you create a community landing page inside of davidsbarter.com, the first month, or I'm sorry, the first uh, 50 days of your community landing page uh, will be complimentary so that you can see how it works. Uh, and obviously, we want, to, we want you to send that page to your Facebook family. Uh, and we make it very simple for you to do that with a Facebook share button. Uh, if you have followings that LinkedIn, at Twitter, at Google+, you can also uh, share that information with them with the share buttons that we have, uh, that we have uh, engineered uh, on a, in a, inside of our community. It's a, it's, a, it's a great concept because when you start a business, uh, who would you want to talk about that endeavor with first but your family and friends? See what they think about the idea. Would they buy what it is, whatever it is you're trying to sell? And then try to sell them what it is, what you're trying to sell. And then you've begun your, your business. It, it, it's, it, we're going to make it the Facebook family fun game. And the, the real fun uh, is going to be for the Facebook family who generates the most cash flow on their landing page because $49 of the first month's lease will go into a Facebook family fun game fund and the landing page, the community landing page that generates the most uh, cash flow from, from Facebook, from Facebook families, uh, will win what, what is ever uh, in that fund at the end of 2012. Uh, so obviously the sooner you start, the, uh, the better chance you have of, of, of accumulating cash flow uh, on your landing page. So if there are a thousand Facebook family fun game participants, uh, 49 times a thousand is $49,000 uh, to the family uh, who will earn that bonus uh, for 2012. Uh, so that's the Facebook family fun game. LinkedIn small business barter exchange. About three years ago, uh, I started the Small Business Barter Exchange as a group uh, in LinkedIn. And uh, I created that particular group, Small Business Barter Exchange, because at that time, I was getting ready to launch a website uh, called the Small Business Barter Exchange. Uh, com. It uh, never did get launched. <laughs> uh, interesting story behind it. Well, 
The reason that it didn't get launched is because uh, we uh, created the concept almost two years ago now. Next week it will be two years of davidsbarter.com. And uh, the, the website itself was not going to fit into uh, the concept of what we were, were trying to build. So it, it never went. But nonetheless, the group has stayed there. Uh, I've had a little bit of uh, communication with the group uh, in the past couple years, not much. Uh, however, anybody who is in the Small Business Barter Exchange uh, will get a complimentary community landing page uh, at davidsbarter.com for 50 days. And uh, we, we urge you, if you, if you are in uh, LinkedIn or or have friends uh, to to spread the word. Uh, it, 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 it could be a good way to tie in a, a bigger internet presence outside of LinkedIn and tie it in with your LinkedIn presence. And uh, we can show you how to do that because that's what we do in, 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 for our efforts. Uh, how many small business customer touch points is the right number, and you'll have to excuse the grammar on that one. The concept is small business customer touch points. Not too many people uh, talk about uh, what I think a customer touch point is. From the time uh, you are attempting to acquire somebody as a customer or gain somebody as a customer uh, throughout the entire lifetime of that customer, there are multitude opportunities for customer touch points. And most folks do not take uh, full advantage. They don't optimize uh, those customer touch points and everything working together. Now, with technology, the, the, the ability to optimize uh, a, a customer touch point is, has never been better. And customer touch points are the are the lifeblood of, of, of your business, uh, and might even be that invoice uh, that uh, you send out, or or whatever. Th those are opportunities when uh, you are touching your customer, and so you, you 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 must make sure that how you are doing it is is done uh, in, in the best way possible, so that you continue uh, to have that individual as a customer. And some of you have, uh, have heard uh, a, a miserable experience that I had as a customer, the worst customer care experience I have ever had in 40 years is one that I've uh, recently gone through. And it, it continued uh, from a phone call. It's amazing. If you uh, scroll down the list at davidsbar.com, uh, there's a question about Sprint Nextel. If you read that question, you can follow a video. I'm getting a lot of feedback uh, from that, and we're going to continue to tell that story because, uh, well, they continued the story on Friday, and um, I, ha I had a, a, a fun time uh, with an individual. I found out later she, she, she said she's from the executive department of Sprint Nextel, but uh, as she sent me an email, which I demanded that she do because I was in the car talking to her, I said, you must send me an email of our discussion, da 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 da, -da. And uh, the, the saga continues, the story continues, and uh, uh, there's a lot of learning experiences. There's a lot of learning experience. Uh, the, uh, the biggest one is just because your wireless carrier tells you you owe them something doesn't mean uh, that you owe them something. Uh, I told my wireless carrier, uh, who told me uh, I owe them $1,979, that I owe them zero. I told their legal department on Friday, or somebody representing them, I said, my position hasn't changed from August. Uh, I don't owe you anything. And uh, that story continues. Stay tuned.
Customer touch points. Oh, so very, very important that every time you have the opportunity to custom, touch the customer, be it a, a complaint, uh, an idea, whatever it is, uh, optimize it. Optimize it because your customers are your lifeblood. What do you need to know about small business social network technology? Uh, everything. <laughs> anything. Small business social network technology is, is what uh, our community really is all about because we study uh, the technology of other communities, of, of, well, Google, of Facebook, of LinkedIn, of Twitter. We study what it is uh, that make them work uh, and how can we, based upon our understanding, tie all the pieces together and uh, that's how you build your following if that's what you're trying to do or that's how you get exposure to whatever it is you're trying to uh, to tell people about be it uh, something you're trying to sell or a story or whatever whatever it might be and the marketing of, of, of what's going on right now, I call it social marketing. I've always called it social marketing. Uh, the, the basic concepts of marketing haven't changed uh, in the 40 years that I've been doing them. What has changed is the technology, uh, the small business social network technology has changed and continues to change new things happening every day, improvement to the old things and new folks saying, I can do it better than that, I'm going to do this, whatever. Uh, it's, that's how people communicate today is with online communities. Uh, nothing has tied the, everybody together more so than an online community. And as, as Facebook approaches its one billionth profile, uh, which will happen in, uh, I'm sure it's going to happen in the month of May, or I'll be surprised if it doesn't happen in the month of May. Uh, but it, it's, that's how, that's how people are, are, that's how we're wired. That's how we communicate. Uh, and if, if you're on Facebook, half of you spend uh, three hours a day on Facebook. An amazing statistic. It's about social network technology, understanding everything that you can, understanding how to uh, interact uh, with that social network technology, um, how to make all the things uh, work together. We're doing it. We're doing it here at uh, davidsbarter.com and uh, uh, become a member of our community and, and share our experiences. Uh, Interesting enough, uh, this is going to be on YouTube, but I'm, I'm live uh, on a live stream at stickham.com. Uh, and it's, that's what technology is today, is being able to, to do these kind of things. And, and it, if it works for you, and it, if it helps you uh, achieve your business objective, uh, certainly, certainly uh, there are efficiencies. Uh, that, 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 that are uh, acquired with understanding how today's social, uh, small business social network te technology works. Next week in the community, uh, we're going to, uh, these are the things that we have uh, already got in motion. I read three uh, very interesting articles uh, on Friday from three different publications, uh, Entrepreneur Magazine, a wonderful, wonderful magazine that I've been reading for years. And uh, we were real interested, uh, the thing that caught our eye from their cover, and then we have to go inside and see what was going on, but on the cover we were... Uh, the thing that caught our eye was crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is the newest social marketing phenomenon. 
uh, going. Interesting concept. You have an idea uh, for an online business. I guess it can be an off offline business too. Uh, but you share that idea on these websites and these communities uh, and you essentially are asking people to help fund your effort. And so people will send in $10 or $15 or whatever, whatever, whatever. And, and uh, it's a whole new dynamic uh, that, uh, that has evolved. Just it's, it's a very, very new concept. Matter of fact, uh, a year ago, it was a year ago, just a couple weeks ago, that uh, I had the opportunity to, uh, uh, to be in Washington to, to listen to the uh, State of Entrepreneurship Address by uh, Carl Schramm of the, of the Kauffman Foundation. And sitting next to me at the table, it was, it was lunch also, was a fellow who had a crowdfunding site. I don't remember his name, but he uh, had one. Of, he was one of the early uh, creators of that concept and had a, a, a successful operation going then. I actually uh, should visit and see where, he's, where he is now. But uh, it's a great concept, crowdfunding. And uh, they had a good article on it. And it stimulated some ideas. But I'm going to talk about that this week. Uh, who benefits from QR codes? We've all seen them. Now that's an artistic uh, representation of a QR code. It's not exactly a QR code, but it's the most interesting concept that I have seen. No, it's the second most interesting. It's equal to an, another concept, but they can work together. If you print, uh, if you print a postcard, if you print a, if you're in a newspaper ad, if you if you if you use print at all. Uh, in your marketing efforts and you do not include a QR code, <clears throat> you're missing uh, a tremendous opportunity because every smartphone that I know uh, can um, scan this QR code and in instantly be taken to wherever that code leads them. Uh, we're going to do, we're going to be using uh, QR codes in a, in a marketing, uh, in a, in a, in a uh, I'm going to do some post postcards. We're going to mail some postcards this year, and I promise you there will be a QR code or two, probably more than one, uh, on that postcard. And uh, it takes that printed piece, and then it becomes, they, they call it two-dimensional, two because that piece then takes you to a website. Or to, it doesn't take you to a website. It takes you to a landing page. It takes you to a landing page. So uh, I am actually going to create uh, my own card for myself that I can pass out to folks. And all it is is going to be the QR code. I said, here's all the information about me. And the curiosity of that QR code on a business card, they'll go home and, or right there if they have a smartphone with them. Uh, what, what more novel way can you use uh, for your business card if you if you if, if you need a business card uh, I seem to operate uh, without one but um, they're nice to have everybody asks what do you do that's a standard question and then uh, the third uh, magazine that I'm going to take a look at this is a great article on um, what entrepreneurs really want in Inc magazine uh, by the way I all three of these magazines obviously uh, I I, uh, I can't say that I necessarily read everything in the magazines. I don't. Uh, I see what attracts my attention. Go for that first. Uh, I know how to get through a magazine pretty quickly. But uh, these are three magazines that I, I, I do pay attention to on a regular basis. And uh, so we're going to share some of those insights with you uh, next week. Uh, we're going to formally introduce uh, this week a, uh, a new uh, landing page uh, in the community. And uh, it is actually called the Young American Plan. I have been working with, uh, in, in the professional side of me, with the Young American Plan for years. I don't even know how many years now. I've been working with Glenn for eight, 
15 years, but I don't, wow, we, 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 I've spent a lot of years working with the Young American Plan. It's a great plan. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, from our community, uh, well, I created a, uh, with Glenn, created a landing page, a community landing page about Young American Plan. If you go to davidsbar.com forward slash Young American Plan, you will go to this page, and, and uh, it's, a, it's an endorsement I made of the product, and I, I, I can endorse it uh, on two levels. Number one, I've worked with the product, and I've seen millions of households uh, that have created value to their household because they, they invested in the Young America Plan. And uh, from our community, I actually uh, went through the ordering process, the application process uh, for my two sons, uh, Jordan and Sam. You can own the, the product is only um, is only available to uh, 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 juveniles under the age of 25. Once you're over 25, you can't buy the policy anymore. But it's an important policy uh, for parents to buy their children, for grandparents to buy their grandchildren, because uh, not only does this particular policy, well, first of all, I can I can speak to the stability uh, of the company is Torchmark, it is the his big insurance company, the division of Torchmark, the insurance company within Torchmark that is selling the product uh, is Globe Life. I've worked with Globe Life since 1994. Uh, we've um, multi-million households have benefited from from the uh, investment in in the Young American Plan, and uh, very inexpensively, I, I bought Jordan and Sam. Now, that policy, that particular policy, will will uh, create cash value at a certain point in time, so that after you've uh, reached a certain level of paying premiums, and the premiums are very inexpensive, uh, it starts to build cash value that could be used for. Uh, emergencies in your family, a uh, college education or high school education. It absolutely can be used for education and should be uh, used for education, the cash value that you build uh, in your policy. That's one of the advantages. And the other thing, the other very subtle thing that it does, and um, excuse me. Uh, the other very subtle thing that it does, it, it, uh, it guarantees the insurability uh, of your child, the one who is who, who in whose name the policy is being bought, uh, and that's a very important concept because as you grow older, there may be op things that happen in your life, as happened in my life. I can speak to it uh, that uh, you can't buy insurance; you cannot buy life insurance. Not that you necessarily need life insurance, but uh, life insurance can be a very, very good investment uh, when uh, purchased properly. I've had very, very, very good uh, personal experiences in my life with, uh, with, in, with uh, insurance. And uh, in fact, uh, for a three-year period in my life, I was actually licensed to sell uh, life insurance and health insurance, but I, I didn't sell one policy because that was not my desire. I, I wanted to uh, get my license because of the education uh, that went around it and the learnings that I did. And I wanted to learn as much as I can, particularly about health care. Uh, and I've been uh, sharing information with small businesses about health care for, well, it was probably six years ago that I got my license. It was active for three years, and it's been inactive for three years, probably close to three years now. But uh, health insurance has always been a very important interest of mine. In fact, when I, I was on the Ohio Governor's Small Business Advisory Council, uh, I was one of the reasons they brought me on was uh, my expertise in this small business marketing concepts and, and uh and health and, and, and health insurance as it pertains to small business. And uh, during that time, I was even asked to testify before the Ohio, one of the 
was it as a committee? It, it was a, an Ohio Senate committee on insurance that was dealing with health care. I was asked to testify on behalf of small business. And uh, what an exciting uh, experience that was. But um, it has been an interest uh, and, and, and needs to be a, needs to be a, uh, uh, needs to be a focus, particularly in small business and how it, uh, how it relates to small business. And of course, we'll continue with a different aspect of uh, small business collaboration. What does it mean? Why do we do it? Uh, it is the new business model is one of small business collaboration. Uh, and uh, our community is all about small business collaboration. How can we help one another uh, build uh, a business idea? It's only an idea till it uh, generates revenue, generates cash flow. And uh, we're, uh, we're also um, uh, going to introduce this week, oh, I'm really excited about a, a new uh, uh, community landing page is going to be targeted uh, to baby boomers. Uh, of which I am a proud member. Anybody who was born before the uh, before 1964 uh, is in the demographic classification called baby boomers. Baby boomers uh, are presenting, interestingly enough, uh, the most interesting uh, challenges that we have ever seen because for whatever the reason, somebody didn't do the math to figure out that baby boomers were uh, going to become of age at a certain age at a certain time on a certain year and uh, the economy is not prepared to deal with the needs of baby boomers. So baby boomers must do a lot of things uh, for themselves because the system uh, is not going to provide it for you. And uh, As a baby boomer, when I officially became a baby boom, well, I was born before 1964, but the first baby boomers uh, actually turned 65 last year. I'm not there yet, but uh, I've started uh, already four or five uh, community landing pages. Actually, I probably have... Uh, well, I add new pages every day. Well, anyway, each concept, each theme uh, represents a new business uh, for me. All of it is all tied together, obviously, but that's what a community landing page can be for you uh, is the creation of a new business. And you'll see what it takes to make it work. And it, uh, from a, a dollars and cents point of view, uh, we've created a platform, uh, a marketing technology platform that... Uh, is working for us, and there's no reason why uh, it can't work for you. And, and, and the things that are working for us, we'll share with you. The things that aren't working for us, we'll share those with you too, so you don't go through that pain yourself of finding that they don't work. We'll, we'll, we'll share the experiences with you. Uh, so baby boomers need to start businesses. Uh, uh, they need to start businesses because we need the expertise of a baby boomer. If you are one, you've had at least 30 or 40 years of market of marketplace experiences, either as a worker or as a uh, an owner of a business, whatever, whatever it was. Uh, you've got the expertise, and we need to share that expertise with the younger folks so that they can uh, start businesses and 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 start it uh, right away. So. Uh, we're going to make it a simple process for a ba any baby boomer uh, to uh, start a business, and we're going to give a complimentary uh, landing page for 50 days to any baby boomer uh, that can, um, uh, well, there's no question in my mind that a baby boomer is not going to waste their time on something that is not going to work. 
So if you know a baby boomer, uh, let them know that they can get a complimentary uh, landing community landing page lease uh, for 50 days uh, in the community. That is going to be it. And uh, come back again, visit. There's many different landing pages going on right now, questions uh, that you'll find on our community bulletin board. Uh, there's probably 60 of them there that, that can help you uh, in a business challenge uh, that you have today. And if you have something that is not being addressed, uh, come into the community, get a complimentary membership as soon as you, a complimentary marketing profile as soon as you do, you are able to send messages to other uh, members of the community that stay in the community. The, the messages never leave. Uh, and send Small Biz David a message about your business idea or your question uh, of what's happening and, and, and how can I uh, make all the resources that have been available to me uh, available to you. Tell your friends, your Facebook friends, your LinkedIn friends, your Twitter friends about davidsbarter.com community. Thank you.